control the, the internet like we control motor cars. Give each and every person on the internet a license. In that way you can at least start to enforce basic common law. No chance in hell, forget about it. <laughs> Not gonna happen. I mean, you, you know, I don't think we've actually proven that licensing between cars is, uh, has worked yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, one of the reasons is you're talking about the pirates, uh, the hackers, the backdoor people. Your seven-year-old kid is at home doing what you're talking about, breaking the law, right? You don't need to be a, a pirate to do that kind of stuff. The internet belongs to the people using it, unfortunately or fortunately. Um, but this kind of conventional thinking about legislation will never, ever, ever work. Something that hasn't been addressed or touched on this evening is how China is trying to control the internet. Um, and in actual fact, how bloggers are trying to break out of that, etc., etc. I'd love to know just the, the panel's thoughts on that and whether they think China has been successful, which to a certain extent they have. One of the things that's happened there on um, social networks is that there's a code language for people to talk about. Um, um, things that wouldn't be sanctioned by the government. So there definitely is a, a kind of a, um, an online subversive thing happening there. But of course you're absolutely correct, it's like the success, if America is the poster boy for the democratization of the internet, then China would be the poster boy for, um, for the suppression of that kind of thing. All media has the possibility for good and evil. If you look at um the use of newspapers in, I think it's Angola at the moment, where they're outsing gay people and it's causing pogroms. And then if you look at the use of the radio in Rwandan genocide, all media has the possibility for good and evil. And I think the internet is just kind of, it's provided a soapbox for these people. But do you think that content should be regulated? The, the question about whether a Rwandan radio and an uh, Angolan newspaper being used for evil is the same as using the internet for evil. The answer, and I'm aware that there are gaping holes in this argument, but luckily we only have 30 seconds. The answer is that at least that's Rwandan evil and Angolan evil. Whereas online, it's, you know, the, the evil that online can do is one that spreads across cultures and across, um, and across uh, geographical locations and also can be owned by whoever owns those means of production of that, of that website, of that social network. Uh, it's not as easy as saying that there's an equation to what a newspaper can do in a country and what online can do 